Hey, welcome to another innovational production. So the Ryzen 3000 series has been out now for a little over a month. Anyway, I upgraded my Ryzen 5 1600 to a Ryzen 5 3600 recently. And tell you what, it was one of the easiest upgrades I've ever done. So the questions on the minds of Ryzen 1000 and 2000 series owners with a B350 motherboard are Number 1. Should I upgrade? Number 2. Can I upgrade? And number 3. How do I upgrade? So the first question, should you upgrade? And the quick answer is definitely a yes. Um, all you have to do is just Google. Uh, one of the ones I found was on techspot.com and they did a comprehensive review of the um, 3600 um, CPU, which is the one I have. And you can always obviously Google the different CPUs available in the Ryzen 3000 series. Anyway, from this one, you can see quite a big improvement from the 1600 to the 2600 to the 3600 uh, on many different benchmarks. Um, Cinebench R20, um, got the multi-core and the single core here, here and here. Um, different applications such as WinRAR here, here and here. See the um, quite a big difference actually from uh, even the 2600 to 3600 on certain benchmarks um, again. And you can do this yourself, but you know it's it's quite a good upgrade in my opinion. So the second question is, can you upgrade with an old B three fifty motherboard for your particular um, CPU that you're looking at? Um, so all you have to do is just go to the website uh, of your brand of motherboard. So mine is the AB three fifty Pro four, and generally it will have um, a menu item called support. And if you go to support, it will tell you. Uh, the CPU support list, click on that and look, so it does support the uh, Ryzen 3000 series which is good news. And you can do the same thing uh, no matter what brand of motherboard you have um, you can just go to the motherboard um, page of your particular motherboard and look at the CPU support list and in most cases uh, it will be able to support the 3000 series uh, with a BIOS upgrade of course. So the third question is how do you upgrade now, number, number one, I want to emphasize to you, do not sell or get rid of your existing uh, Ryzen uh, CPU first, because you need that to be able to upgrade the BIOS in most cases. Uh, some motherboards will allow a BIOS upgrade without a CPU installed, but most will not. So please do not get rid of your old CPU. Um, again, um, go to the um, page of the motherboard that you have, and you go down to support and then to BIOS. Uh, which is similar um, for most motherboard brands and in the BIOS you've got the different versions obviously you want the latest BIOS because the latest BIOS is the one that supports the the latest um, Ryzen 3000 processors I um, don't know about other manufacturers and other um, other motherboards but for this particular one in order to update to the latest BIOS which is 5.8 you need to first have this driver installed and you also need to be running um, a particular version of the BIOS, which this one is P5.40, which is down here. If you don't have the 5.40, um, you need to update it from the older one, which is in this case P3.40. So in my instance, I had to first update the BIOS, which was the original BIOS that I got the, um, when I bought the motherboard. And I will say in most situations, most of you out there would probably have never updated your BIOS because you never needed to. Um, because with updating a BIOS, there's always a risk of it um, corrupting and, and not being able to boot up. So most people don't actually update the BIOSes. So in this situation, I had to first uh, update to the bridge BIOS because I had a very early BIOS. Upgrade, update it to the bridge BIOS and then I could update the next BIOS and then I could update to the latest BIOS. So how do you actually install a new CPU? Well, all you have to do is just YouTube upgrading your CPU and you probably see a lot of instructional videos telling you how to do that. So yeah, so I hope this has been helpful for all you out there who have a B315 motherboard, which you can actually upgrade to a new CPU in most cases. Thanks for watching.